Is the reason why this anime is called Bleach is because Ichigo has bleached hair? Did someone tell me that? <laughs> What's up everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host Dexter Rapulis and today we'll be unboxing the Dasen model Ichigo. And yes, his hair is apparently off his head, but don't worry, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna see how it is in terms of paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories, and obviously we're gonna put that hair back on him. So this figure was um, supplied by my friend Michael, he said, hey, can I buy this off your store? And I'm like, cool. Can I review it? And he's like, cool. And I was like, cool. So we're gonna open this up, we're gonna see how it is, so enough of me talking. As you can see, that is a really nice case, a good presentation as we see up here on the top cam. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's open it up, let's see how it is. First up, we're gonna be looking at paint and detail, but wait a second, where can you get this? I almost forgot, come on. You can get this at www.dstartoys.com and we'll source for awesome action figures. Uh, but I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, we're gonna be sold out. These guys have been selling out really fast, even before I review them. It seems like you guys are really on it when getting the figures that you want from D-Star Toys. Guys, I have to appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the store, supporting me. But anyway, let's open this guy up. Man, he's really, he's really in this box. Okay, come on, come on, let's open up. There goes all his accessories. So, my experience with Dassin Toys, let me talk about that before we move on here, is as much as I think these look cool, I've always thought that they've went way too far with the scale. And when I say too far with the scale, that means I honestly think that their scale is a little bit too big. But when it comes to everything else, it's pretty good. So, let's look at Mr. Ichigo here. And let's get his hair on. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Let's look at this right here. Whoa. Okay, let's focus up. So that's how he looks like without the hair. At least that's at least you know that. Let's see if we can put this back on. Let's see. Give, give me a second here. Give me give, give me a sec. I gotta figure this out. This is an unboxing. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Does this look like our boy? And I have to say, yes, it does. I really like this anime face. He looks mean, he looks angry. That's how it should look. Honestly, I feel like the hair should be just a tad bit longer. So that's a little bit of a pet peeve right there. But this does look like Ichigo. So I have to say it looks pretty good right there. Let's look at the body. And what you get here is cloth, cotton clothes. And that's really nice considering that, you know, you get something that looks realistic. But honestly, in my opinion, I always preferred my action figures with realistic clothing so or not realistic clothing sorry plastic clothing I know that's just me maybe it's not you but there you go that's it you go let's look at the pants they are naturally ruffled as you can see right here let's see if we can brighten that up with the light so you can see what I mean definitely ruffled up right there and there's his shoes right there with the white socks and sandals so there he is I have to say he looks good I mean he looks pretty plain there's nothing really to expect here if you're looking for a accurate looking Ichigo, I have to say this is this is almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. So there he is. There he is standing. So here's the question that I have been asking. How tall is he and how does he compare with other action figures? We all know Dasin's bigger. So seven inches tall. Let's compare him with Marvel Legends. Does this work? Yeah. I know Ichigo is pretty tall, right? This might work with Marvel Legends. This might. And uh, just because, Storm Collectibles, Kazuya, right there. Here is SH Figure Arts King Piccolo. Now, mostly, if you were wondering if he fits with Goku, the answer to this question is absolutely not. They do not scale well with SH Figure Arts. Maybe the bigger ones, maybe, but not so much the main characters like Vegeta, Goku, and whatnot. Maybe Marvel Legends as well. And just to show you other Marvel Legends, here's a Build-A-Figure Thanos. 
So when it comes to Dassin model, I've always thought that their scale is just a little bit too big. Uh, they don't really fit. I'm a guy that likes to combine universes, and this guy just doesn't fit for me. So, but but I have to say, if you like Ichigo and you've always wanted somewhat of a 112 scale action figure, this might be for you. I think this is the only 112 scale action figure we're, 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 we got right now. So, let's see how he is in terms of articulation. We don't get a toe joint, but we do have an up and down here at the ankle. <laughs> Looks to be a double jointed knee right there, so we can get some solid front kicks and side kicks. Looks like we have a waist swivel right there, and it goes up and down for some ab crunches. Can he hug himself? Without taking out the clothes, I don't want to see the articulation points. Yes, he can hug himself, so it looks like he does have um, does have butterfly joints. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow right there, uh, ball and peg here at the wrists is what it looks like. Yep, and it looks like we have two articulation points right here at the neck. Looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Let's do some kicks. Let's do some flying knees. Let's do some superhero landings. And, ooh, hello. That's not bad. So there you go, he is articulated. He does everything you'd want a 112 scale figure to do. So let's look at the accessories. Let's go to the top can. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We get the sword. We get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six extra hands. Of course, we get his mask. Uh, we have three extra faces. And of course, over here, you get the stand. I think this is just the standard stand that most Dassin toys came with. I think my Kenshin came with one. And if anyone's wondering, well, how does he compare with Roni Kenshin? Don't you have that figure? I used to have it, I gave it away. I'm sorry. Give it away in the giveaway, which by the way, you can go to the description and enter the giveaway. That lasts forever. Let's look at the sword here. Let's go to the front cam. So let's outfit him with the sword. His huge sword. Right now, I don't remember the name of it. And the reason why I haven't seen Bleach in like, oh my gosh, 10 years. What the heck? Wow. Honestly, I didn't even finish it. And the reason why, and this is this is just me. <laughs> uh, after spoiler alert, okay, spoiler alert. I'm just gonna say say right now. So turn turn off your ears. When it was revealed that Eisen was a bad guy, I was like, oh my god, it's awesome. And then the next season's a filler season, <laughs> and I said, what is this? And I turned it off. Never watched it since. So anyway, let's go to the front cam. Let's see what we're looking at here. So there he is. He's outfitted with the sword. It does seem to work. Wow, that's a nice looking sword. Look at it. That is a beautiful looking sword. I absolutely love that. Okay, let's look at the mask. So I believe he has to hold it over his face. So let's see if we can do something like that. Okay, so we have the mask. And there we have something that looks like that. Ooh, that looks pretty cool right there. Let's look at that. That looks really nice. So he holds the mask. Uh, one more thing I have to tell you. The hands are soft, so they're bendable. Look at that. They're not rigid plastic, which is really cool. Uh, let's look at the faces, and I think we will come up with a conclusion here. I think we're good to go on the conclusion. Let's look at these faces. So the faces that you do get are you get a smirking face. Let's see if we can focus up there. Smirking face right there. We get a grinning face right there. And we get a neutral face right there. Let's take this guy apart. So what's cool about Dassin is that they do it like this. They're kind of like heads. They're not face plates really. So we gotta take the hair apart. And then there, so there you go. Ooh, that looks really good. I like the way that one looks. So that's the blank face, I guess kind of neutral. And then we'll push it onto the smirking face, which looks really nice as well. There it is. 
And we'll finish off with the grinning face. And I think we'll we'll come up with a conclusion. You can the stand's pretty standard. Um, we'll put we'll put that in the showcase. I usually do. There you go. Let's see if we can get him to hold his sword. Maybe I got the wrong hand. There you go. That's how he looks. Oh, that looks tight. Let's see if I can get it to hold it better. And let's stand him up. All right, so there he is. There he is standing. Let's come up with a conclusion of the Dassin model Ichigo. Is this worth the, I believe he's going for $55 shipped? And to me, and this is just to me, like I said before, a lot of people ask me, how come you don't review more Dassin stuff? And the biggest reason is, I love the fact that they're doing characters from anime of the past, like Kenshin. That was awesome. But my issue with Kenshin was, he's way too big. That he doesn't fit with my other shonen anime characters. Like Goku. And that kind of just ruins it for me. Now, if you don't care about scale, you know, I just want a really nice looking Ichigo. Look at this face. Look at, look at our boy. Look at that. I have to say, this is pretty rad. Like, it's nice to see that we finally get something in the 112 scale or close to the 112 scale. And I'm really glad that this figure exists for all the people who've been wanting a Bleach action figure or uh, Ichigo action figure. Uh, I remember back in the day, back in 2011, my ex introduced me to Bleach and I absolutely loved it. And I said, we gotta get action figures. And our only option was Play Arts. Play Arts Kai, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Someone correct me down below. And she got Rukia and I was like, ah, that scale is really large. And I have nothing but like, I try to keep my scale consistent and I didn't bother to get anyone. In the scale, so you know she she liked Rukia, but I wasn't willing to get Ichigo. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's it. I think my issue is scale. Like I said, let me break it down for you. But if you want a really good-looking um, Ichigo here, he has really nice accessories, really good-looking face. The clothes are a little bit big, but you know what? You can really just by bypass that. It looks good nonetheless. Um, then this one's for you, and you can get this guy at www.dstartoys.com a reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Oh yeah, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace! So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.